Black people don't start working when they first get to their goddamn job. Take us time, we gotta find out what the fuck going on. But I like working for white people because they take excuses. I don't feel good today, stay home, stay home. When you work for a nigga, ain't excuse good enough. My father died, mine did too, nigga. What time are you coming in? I'll let you go to the funeral, I need you this Thursday. He didn't love your ass anyway. Why you going to the funeral? Best job I ever had was working in the cleaners. That was a good ass job. I cried like a bitch when they fired me. They fired me for weighing other people's shit. I be at the club, women like Earthquake always got something new on. I never see that nigga wearing the same outfit. Sometimes he changed clothes at the club. My boy like, let me wear that shirt. I say, I would, dog, but he come to pick it up tomorrow. Got to keep it. I'm gonna tell you who you don't wanna work with. Mexicans. They make a nigga look bad at the job. They don't take no breaks or nothing. They work eight hours straight. Skip lunch and everything. I fucked around and worked with some Mexicans putting roofs up. They can put a roof up in 30 minutes. I had to get on a ladder, on the ladder, take a break, nigga. We got eight hours. What you rushing for? They just gonna give us another roof. They let my black ass go, got another Mexican. <laughs> I just got married, you gotta get married. Marriage is rough, but take your time. Yeah, marriage is like having cable with just one channel. <laughs> Same shit come on every day. Like, damn, bitch, I love you, but I wanna see another movie. You gotta hang around other married people too. I hang around my boy, he been married for six years. The nigga videotaped his wedding day, never watched it. Now and every day he watch it every day, but he watch it in reverse. Cause he said he loves seeing himself take that ring back off of that bitch finger. Walking back down that aisle, just waving at her ugly ass mother down the church. Getting back in the limo, back at the bachelor party. Look how happy I was. I ain't smiled like this since I married that bitch. I wasn't going to get married because I got scared. I wasn't scared of the commitment, but if you're a true man, you got to take the temperature and see what's going on in the world. And you, I got scared because of Michael Jordan, that's my dog. And when I found out he was having problems with his bitch, I said, a brother with 400 million can't keep a bitch. A brother with $100 ain't got a shot. What do these bitches really want from a nigga? Somebody let me know. I mean, how you get mad at a nigga with 400 million? You supposed to be the happiest bitch in the whole state. You supposed to come home every day just smiling like the Joker. <laughs> but somebody must have talked to her ass because she took her ass back home. I mean, some women must have got in her ear like, bitch, you tripping. You must not have been out here lately. The pickings are slim. You lucky if a brother buy your ass a drink. You better take your ass back on that hill. Personally, I think she went out and tested the market and found what true players know. Ain't nobody fucking with her after she been with Michael Jordan. I mean, where you gonna take a woman that had 400 million at her disposal? How you gonna impress that bitch? You gonna have to take her to the moon or somewhere. You go over that big ass house, you like, well, I can help with the electric in this motherfucker. I make $300, just use it where you can. And then she got two kids. How you gonna discipline them? You they stepfather now. They ain't gonna listen to your ass. Y'all need to come in the house. Fuck you, nigga. This all our daddy shit. And how you gonna say you better than they father? You wearing this nigga tennis shoes. <laughs> you got on Hanes briefs and shit. <laughs> That's the only problem I got with my sister. I love y'all to death, but y'all don't see the big picture. When you married to a man with $400 million, y'all more than just husband and wife. Y'all a corporation. White women see the big picture. White women don't leave no man with no money. You gotta kill that bitch to let go of that checkbook. That bitch died with the checkbook in the casting. Mm -mm. A sister leave your ass over a phone number. That bitch, I found this number in your pocket, baby. That's the number of the piece of her. Well, you must be fucking a bitch in the counter. Pack all your shit and get the fuck on out. Pack your shit up and get the fuck out. Take this Sony PlayStation with you. Roll these goddamn cords and get the fuck out. I'm glad to see we got some white people out here. 
hanging, because that September 11th shit had their ass shook. Black people, we ain't give a fuck about it. Yeah, we cared that people killed in here, but we, we, we got over that. White people don't understand, but that September 11th had their ass shook. I knew something was wrong with the country, because white people, when the country go bad, they nice to black people. They treat us real nice. The motherfuckers were speaking. Like, how you doing? Well, how you doing? Well, how you doing? How you doing? Because, you know, you try to speak to some white people, they could be real funky with your ass. You're like, how you doing? Like, mm. <laughs> Bitch, I said hi. But that September 11 ass shook their ass. I got white friends. They like, ain't you afraid of terrorists? Fuck no. I'm a nigga. I've been living with terrorists all my life. I know a brother that'll kill everybody in this motherfucker. Step on his brand new gator. Nigga, what? When you black, you party with a terrorist every weekend. You be at the club, damn, baby, you looking good as shit. Pop out, bitch, they shooting again. Stay right here, stay right here, bitch. That nigga's a terrorist. Some of you women, y'all dating terrorists right now. Come home late tonight, bitch, where you been? Ow, Earl. Don't hit me in front of the children. That nigga's a terrorist. Some of y'all ain't laughing because he with you right now. You hope that nigga don't say the wrong thing to set his ass on your ass. You're living with a terrorist. And I'm upset with my white folks. How you let a motherfucker in the cave fuck up everything? You've been watching our black ass too long. We ain't done shit to this goddamn country. We need to send our own terrorists over there. We're the clan that when you need them. You say you love this goddamn country so much. Come on out and play, motherfucker. Why well, don't see no burning ass crosses in Afghanistan? Bring your ass out, motherfucker. You say you love this country so much. This the time we need them goddamn pickup trucks. Why well, don't see no niggas with no goddamn cams on their head being hung? Bring your ass out. Then they say they can't find Saddam bin Laden. They send the wrong motherfucker to look for him. Don't send the Navy or the Air Force, send child support. Oh, that's a motherfucker that'll find them. They found my black ass. Why they can't find his ass? You gotta go to child support court. That's the funniest shit on earth. But you gotta get there real early in the morning. Cause you see, you see brothers going into court talking, about, I ain't paying that bitch shit. That hoe ain't getting a penny. You see him come out three hours later, I can't pay this shit. Let me talk to you, baby. Please, let me talk to the witness, Your Honor. Let me talk to the witness. <laughs> Brother be working for three weeks, get his check, his $43. He go to his supervisor, who is this motherfucker garnishment? They show him a picture of his baby mama. I love the anthrax shit. I hope they send some more of that shit through the mail. Because I forward all my bills to my baby mama. I've been trying to kill that bitch legally all my life. Oh, kiss my ass, I've been trying to kill that bitch. When I heard it was a sniper in D.C., I took that bitch to D.C. Here, pump some gas. Yeah, I'ma stay here, fill it up, bitch, fill it up. Now this nigga at the grocery store. Here, put that shit in the trunk, I'm in here. I wanted to call that nigga, please tell me where you need your next victim to be, bitch, I got him. Because it's the truth. I used to do drugs, but I seen Whitney Houston on TV. That bitch made me throw all my cocaine away. I don't give a fuck what you say. You're supposed to be losing weight around your knees and shit. What kind of drugs make your kneecaps disappear? This bitch ain't got no knees. It's just go from her thighs to her ankles. Whitney Houston's so skinny when she be singing, you can see the words coming through that bitch's throat. It's like karaoke. I'm singing with this bitch. This F is gonna kill this F, I'm telling you. And everybody say she ought to leave Bobby Brown. She ain't gonna never leave Bobby, ever, 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 ever. You know how hard it is to find somebody to cook your crack cocaine the way you like it? But black people gotta stop going to jail. Fuck going to jail. You go to jail too much. Don't get me wrong, I've been to jail, but I do a little time, cause I do a little crime. I go to jail for shit like eating in the supermarket. <laughs> Don't laugh, all of us do this shit. I'm the only nigga got caught. You know how you go in the supermarket, eat a couple grapes, have a few cookies, make a sandwich, <laughs> use some of the lotion, put it back on the counter. It said 45% free, that's my shit. 
I'm talking about time. White people be giving out some times like it's minutes. That's why I be watching court TV. They gave a nigga double life. He was a soldier though. That nigga took it like it was 30 days. Like you, Tyrone, got double life. The nigga went, mm, like it was a shot of liquor. I'd have passed out like a bitch, oh Jesus. Did that white man say double life? How the fuck you gonna do double life? I mean, even if you come back, you gotta do time. What's my motivation? And death row, that's something else I don't understand. They're gonna tell you the day they're gonna kill you, expect your ass to be there. We all know we're gonna die, but we don't know the date. They give you the date. We coming to get you on the third. So don't plan shit the rest of the month. They even give you a calendar up to the third. The rest of the prisoners just be fucking with you. What you doing on the fourth? And men be letting ego get in their own in the way of good common sense. Cause they gonna tell you they gonna kill you. Cause on death row, all the men be walking down the death chamber all by themselves. And other prisoners be trying to give them a hint. Dead man walking. And he be ignoring them like he a fine bitch at the club. That couldn't be me, dead man being drugged. Crying like a bitch. Shitting all on himself. <laughs> but black people, we gotta do something about our kids cause them little motherfuckers are dangerous. 12 year old brother killed everybody in Burger King. When he got locked up, he gonna lie to the judge talking about he innocent cause he had a split personality. If I was the judge, I'd say, well, both of you niggas gonna do the time cause one of y'all could have called the police. It only take one hand to dial 911, you bad bastards. Cause they committing crimes we would never done when we was young. Bullshit you not. When I see four or five young brothers walking down the street, I'm like white people, oh shit, hit them niggas come. Don't look at them, baby. Don't look at them niggas. Fuck your hair. Take that gold off. They'll rape both of us. What kind of nigga rape you and your wife? That ain't right. She like, help me, bitch. My ass hurt too. You need to help me. Show them a titty. Get them off of my ass. I thought I had to fight these niggas. I ain't know they was a gang of rapists. You and your wife and rape counselor. They asked what happened. She just started snitching. Well, they fucked him first. And he was screaming like a bitch. I was ashamed to be that nigga's wife. Why you pissing and shitting all on yourself? You always trying to fuck me in the ass. I thought you said the shit didn't hurt. I'm gonna tell you like you tell me at night, relax your muscles. Breathe slowly. You just wanna put the head in for a little while. Love y'all Chicago, I'm Earthquake